So, a couple of tests that I've seen that people do when they're going to do a CCSVI record or operation. This is my, for my sound. So I'll link it up with that video when I uh, get it done. So basically it's walking one foot in front of the other like this. And now this is before I've had the operation done. This mirror here, I, at night I always am I'm afraid I'll bump into it and break it. I've broken that painting there, but uh, not the mirror yet. But as you can see, I wouldn't most likely pass a drug test type of a thing. So that, I would say that's fairly uh, normal for me. And uh, it does get wor worse during the day, so I'll record another one uh, later on uh, this day. Other tests that I've seen people do is standing with their legs crossed uh, and then I don't have the space to spread my arms, but closing their eyes and see if they, uh, what do you call it, fall over. So now my eyes are closed. I'm But I can oh, <laughs> spoke, spoke too soon. But yeah, I can I can stand. I'm not gonna completely fall over. Uh, what else? Lifting one's knees uh, is something that people have done. Oh, the right leg. I think it's fairly good. Uh, but then the left one, it only comes up to that much. And uh, what, what else I see some people do? They try and lift their... Whoop! That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, this way. standing like this which at least standing on my left leg um, I'm halfway able to do but then lifting this left leg it's a lot trickier seen other people do in these tests that they test whether they can jump so here if I fall out now <laughs> jumping uh, that's about it and uh, what do you call it I I'm fully aware that after some time, uh, they, or during the day when I've taken the dog, uh, I would get the best results straight out of bed and just move about a bit and then do the test. I would get the best results. But this is now after I've taken the dog and I've sat down working a bit. So. Look at this, I've never seen it. I mean, at normal times like this. Dear passenger, this is an important health announcement. Please maintain a safe distance.
safe distance to others, ensure good hand and respiratory hygiene, and wear a mask. And even the thin air line is If you suspect you may have contracted the coronavirus, I thought that I'd to get some of the the line. Information point between oh. arrivals for do A and do B. And uh, ill, the weird thing not. was when I was going through the security check, I, tra I used to travel for business every single week to uh, Sweden. I can't remember. I've done it for years and years. And I pretty much know how to go through an airport. But now, for some reason, I got three extra security checks when going through the thing I got my what do you call it I got padded down my belt uh, then my what do you call it camera it was uh, the charger it was in the bug and they took that out oh yeah and then somebody they swiped my clothes to see if I have explosives on me. And I was commenting, said, this is crazy. This is like a police state. And this is right. And uh, I haven't worn my mask yet. That's something I need to show you. I'm gonna put it on only if asked. It reads like that. Basically it says that masks are just virtue signaling and uh, they're useless and they're virtue signaling and uh, I'm ashamed I'm ashamed to wear one I'm sorry and uh, yeah I'll put it on if they ask me to but other than that I'm, I'm not having it but yeah and uh, the, the airport the, entrance to the terminal it's been renovated so there's a big L shape the Helsinki terminal that the whole corner of the L uh, inside corner of the L has been renovated and that's where terminal 2 entrance used to be and uh, given that this renovation I now had to uh, get into the terminal from Terminal 1 and walk all the way here to Terminal 2, which is a bit of a struggle for me. But hey, I got here and uh, the operation should be as soon as I get to Frankfurt. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I should be in school at the moment. Um, skipping school okay. I'll try and connect uh, later on when I have my operation done I need to sit like this for the whole trip and uh, the whole idea of the mask is uh, air coming out of here and my beard is air is coming down out of there it's just ridiculous but hey I got onto the plane it's one of these small ones uh, I think it's called an Embraer 190 so it's a two point, two and two configuration <sighs> but yeah and the papers that I presented to the at the gate oh man they were looking at them for a long time and uh, then they called their boss and asked whether I can go. Uh, okay. Well, I got So, 
I got here finally. I was 20 minutes late and the uh, reason was that I honestly I was too optimistic of getting here. But it's, it's you know, it's a hospital. And uh, uh, yeah, they made me wear this mask when I came in here. They didn't accept my own mask. They wanted me to wear this one. So, and this has to be worn in the premises. And uh, they don't speak very brilliant. Uh, English. And, uh, let's see what happens. I sent them an email because I have no contact to the doctor. And now that I've been talking to him, I've kind of talked to him very short, concise messages. But now that I look at this place, I think that's this picture over there in that poster. Dr. Vogel. And uh, that pretty much everybody when I walked in uh, they knew knew the guy and knew how to instruct me here which is weird in a place this big uh, uh, now let's see if I'm too late will they have the time to operate on me today or will it be moved Mm -hmm. That was a video of me going to Frankfurt and uh, because it's getting long I'll cut it short and uh, and this one here and create another video of the actual procedure and how that went but anyway Mm, initial thoughts yes there were positive results out of it but I'll go into those in more detail later on and I'll do my walking tests and all, all that stuff to actually see what came out of it but anyway I'll end this video because it's getting long and say that Jesus Christ is King Amen <laughs>